Hello and welcome back to Caves of Good. We are, well, we're doing quite well. Um, you know what I'd like to do, actually? I would like to do a little bit of salt desert combing. Just a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit. Okay. Uh, let me, let me have a little, uh, okay. Uh, no, I won't. I, I just realized, um, as, as tempting as it is, to go through the desert a little bit um i kind of can't afford to reason being is i only have so much energy um since i sold a bit of it for uh you know we, we don't have a lot of uh our, our batteries left so yeah i can't really afford to, to we, we have to go ruin diving so that we can at least break even and um, hopefully, like, you know, get a surplus. Hope that makes sense. My words are not, I'm not, not, they're not coming to me very good, if you couldn't tell. All right. Let's check out a different ruin completely. Let's see what we got here. We've got a low light laser turret tinker. I seem to recall um, the, the strategy here is let them just build their turrets I'm just gonna let them do their thing I'm pretty sure they have an infinite supply of turrets and yeah we're just like following them around once the once we've disarmed them they're they're basically completely harmless We didn't disarm at that time. Uh, we still didn't disarm it. Didn't mean to, didn't mean it. Sorry, friend. I didn't mean to uh, smack you there. We're getting solar cells. Four solar cells? How is this happening? Oh no! Turret Tinker friend got killed by his own turret. Oh, what a shame. Um, so I would love to... Wait, are we disassembling? Oh, we're disassembling solar cells. That's no longer viable. I wonder how I turn off... Turn that off. Okay, I know we have some. I'm gonna replace this cell and then turn, um, stop treating these as scrap. Solar cells are apparently stupidly valuable. I didn't know. I, I really didn't know, but like, you know, they're worth 30 drams each. And when you're getting them by the bucket load, like, come on. It's, uh, you can get a thousand drams with very little effort. But we can still get tons of tinkering bits because um, these guys are giving us jacked laser pistols. Um, we'll disassemble that. I don't know. Are we treating these as scrap? No, we don't want to treat chem cells as scrap just yet. What was that? I think we critted it. That was why this, the screen shook like that. Oh, did we like break off an arm or something low light laser turrets left support strut huh interesting i don't know what i did there like we didn't i didn't uh, tinker anything right did i put like serrated on my mandibles i don't think i can because they're not technically like they're not tech, you know? Oh, right. My folded carbide longswords are both serrated. Okay, so yeah, we can we can break off arms and stuff. My god, this build is shaping up to be something real special, isn't it?
All right, we're good here. Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna like do our thing. There's a traipsing mortar. Uh, we're still in dueling stance, I think. Yeah, we are. Swipe them. Um, we did not disarm them, unfortunately. That's fine. Um, we need to treat. Oh, what, what do you mean, small cube? Radio powered solar cell. We can treat these as scrap, maybe. So that means that we're getting some bits. Because, you know, like, I, the bits are valuable too, right? Ammo. Treat these as scrap. Also, I mean, I know the solar cells do weigh something, but they're pretty light considering how valuable they are. We've got livid creepers. Love me some livid creepers. Okay, let's go into aggressive stance and then swipe. I love that explosion effect so much. Ah, uh, saps. It's like the one thing that really kind of uh, does quite a quite a number on this build. Residence miner. I could uh, do something fun here, but I'd rather just take them out. Get back here, dude. dude get back here! Oh my god. Gonna be placing mines all over the place. Disarm, yes. Um, and then I want to. I didn't disarm. I didn't disassemble these HE missiles. Oops. I want to um, disassemble. The what now? The mine. Is it in like tools? Miscellaneous? Yes. Treat these as scrap. Disassemble. There we go. Live it creeper. There we go. Ah, it it exploded. Resonance mines suck. They are not good. Just, um, trying to get rid of this livid creeper. All right, there we go. So there's not a lot going on here. We're getting these mines. Trying, I'm trying to, you know, get some bits. Not for really any reason other than, like, greed. Like, I know that we're going to use them. I know that we're going to want a lot of grenades. <clears throat> these are all, like things that I have done in the past that have worked out and now we have the ability to, to get like basically as many bits as we're ever going to need our AV is really nice oh did we get some lover's blossom I didn't I didn't know that uh, I didn't know you could get lover's blossom from livid creepers That's a uh, that's interesting. Okay, resonance mine. Oh, it exploded. That's fine as long as we can take the blow from it. I'm 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 cool. It's still worth me trying to disarm them. Okay, let's head down. We're leveling up at a pretty good click. We've got ourselves a laser turret. Kind of don't want to fight the cre livid creeper or shoot it. Let's try and um, disarm this turret. We didn't. And now we are stuck. Going to try and just wait, wait for our swipe to come back. Disarm. We did not disarm. All right, we we are now in danger. Um, stunning force. Let's 
sleep gas. That's mostly for the livid creeper, although I don't know if it actually works. We output a crazy amount of gas now. I kind of, I wouldn't mind seeing a, um, like there's various different gas generation mutations. I'm pretty sure you can have like confusion. I'm not sure if you can, I think you acid is like one of the best mutations in the game. Um, but I'm wondering, you know, how, like, do we not have a um, explosive gas generation? That'd be kind of cool. Especially with that new, like, animation. Like, that would just be a riot. Okay, um, we got hit by another sap, so yeah, we're almost completely drained. I saw a tur turret tinker, but I don't know what happened to them. Level 20. All right. Um, well, they are very clearly alive. That's why we don't set like ignore creatures uh, easier than easy because um, saps are dangerous no matter what level. We are actually like running out of ammo, mostly because of the saps. We are out of ammo, pretty much. Let's see if we can't get something out of this. Uh, we did not. Okay, we'll rest. Get rid of this livid creeper. Swipe. Ah, we disarmed it. Nice. Okay, um, let's just, like, get through this. Uh, sleep gas grenade. It's so good, honestly. Ooh, there's a rifle over there. Oh, I guess that's the one that uh, I knocked out of the turret. Cool. How much XP do we get? Go folk are really not worth their XP. They're one of the hardest things compared to how much XP you get from them. Carbide dagger. We got the jacked laser rifle. Did we? Yeah, okay. So we disassembled the jacked rifle, but we still... Another salt hopper mandible. Does this square cap give us uh, intelligence? Yeah, I always, I always love that. Um, and we have bloodstained spectacles. Do these give us intelligence? No. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, was that? Um, oh, it doesn't matter. It was a, a torso armor. We're getting more Lover's Blossom. Yet another good reason why Livid Creeper is like some of the best uh, enemies to fight in the wild. I didn't know this, but I did, they, apparently they give you um, Lover's Blossom. That is, that is astoundingly good. Okay, so this is, you know, why we're here is I want to get more stuff. So we're going to swipe that. There we go. If we don't do it the first time, if it's a laser turret, I'm absolutely going to go the extra mile and try and make it happen. I think we do have some more um, cells now. Did we disarm them? Yes, we did. Nice. There's another one. I uh, don't think we did it that time, so we're going to have to rest. Nice thing about fighting the chain turret that's like guaranteed to do a little bit of damage is I don't have to like play the, 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 the waiting game. I didn't, I didn't intend for it to work like that, but that, worked. that was good. We don't have to hit the wait command because uh, I can just rest until healed and that's enough to for our uh, swipe to come back. I think the only thing I wish I had is maybe a bit more willpower so we can get our uh, swipe to have a lower cooldown. Now, I 
hate the idea of having to fight a kudzu. That's really not fun. Oh god, uh, almost as fun as fighting a seed sower. I'm gonna shield slam them. I actually just want to like laser them to death. Okay, I'm gonna eat some witchwood bark. And try and kill this lad. There's two of them! Precognition. Okay, um, first thing we're gonna do is stunning force first. I'm not sure if that did anything for me, but we're gonna release gas. And pray. Actually, do, do I have some more? I can take some more witchwood bark. Okay, this is a better position than I was in previously. We are, we need to reload. That sucks. Um, I'm going to swipe them. I did manage to disarm them. Okay. Very barely got out of that situation. That was nasty. I'm going to get out of there and rest up, and I think we're going to call it for this ruin. Would you like to return to the start of your vision? No. Reload our gun. We're out. Good ruin, though. Good haul. We've got tons of cells. Tons of things to sell. <laughs> Tons of cells to sell. Um, not sure if there's somewhere else we want to go. We could check out another ruin, but I think I'm going to make a checkpoint just to be cautious. Um, we could... I guess we could... There's a couple of... Um, Barathermites here that sell some tech. We could go and talk to them. Do our do our shopping here, you know? We don't have to go to the stilt every time. Uh, this guy is selling serrated. We can buy their bits at the very least. I mean, look at that. It's so nice. I'm I'm enjoying this a lot. I wonder if Neek has anything. Neek, do you have anything cool? You've got some interesting stuff. Sapphire Mechanimus Preacher. He's got some weird artifacts. Tell me what those are. <clears throat> Dart gun. Spray bottle. Fidget cell. Box of crayons. The, the dark gun is kind of intriguing. I'm pretty sure that is actually pretty good because um, you can use it with uh, Lover's Nectar Tonic or Lover Blossom Tonic, whatever they're called. Um, but we don't want any of that, of that right now. Let's talk to Darty. I think Darty might have the good stuff. You're famished. I don't. I don't really care. Oh, Darty has uh, has cooking stuff. And a grenade launcher. Uh, specifically a data disc for a grenade launcher. Uh, Jacobo. Jacobo, do you have some, like, tech data discs? I know there's a few people that do. Yeah, you do. Okay. Nulling. What does that do? Adds item modification. Nulling. When powered, this item astrally burdens its wielder. Compute power on the local lattice increases the effectiveness of this effect. Um, that's actually really cool. Um, basically, anything that has... Um, <clears throat> anything that has uh, mental mutations would... Like, it would be good to have something like this. 
So I'll take that actually. Refractive. I don't think I can make use of this, unfortunately. Because I think this is only for armor that we put on our torso. I'll take it anyway. We'll see if we can't do something with it. I'll take the woolly. We'll definitely take the EMP grenade mark two. Ninefold boots is tempting. Character mass appears to orbit the, a central statement. The path is contracted. The rest of the script is etched in a variety of signs and styles that offer competing and composite. I, I don't I don't get anything from that. Like I don't know what that means. Time dilation grenade mark three is nice and all, but it's too expensive. Stasis grenade is a great um like escape plan <laughs> what uh what is that um oh tinker one yeah we could totally do that emp grenade would be great because it can, will allow us to get closer to some of the tougher robots and then uh, disarm them okay so let's square up i actually am a little bit light for all of this stuff we got a spark tick scutum. Scutum. Sell the glow sphere. We'll sell all this stuff. Um, guess I'll sell the glazed sidearm of Biazotara. It's it's nice. I wish I could do something with it, but I can't really. Actually, you know what? I'll keep it for now. Let's see if we can't do square up with trade goods instead. I, I don't think I got the um, quest to acquire that item, so I'd rather not sell it before I, you know, get that. Okay, there we go. This works out a bit better. What are these? Chain gun. Uh, treat these as scrap. Disassemble. And we have another one to assemble. I think those are worth quite a bit to the Mechanimus, but I think we have enough reputation with them that it doesn't matter anymore. Um, except, but did we talk to everyone? We didn't talk to Q Girl. Oh, Spare Fusile. I don't know if I've talked to them. Ah, they've got a lot of stuff. Of Serene Visage is really nice. Let's grab that. 3D Cobblers. <laughs> <gasps> what does that mean? Phase harmonic. I'm pretty sure that's only good against phased creatures, which is good. Um, I love me a flashbang mark three, uh, but high explosive. That's just uh, actually necessary. And a thermal grenade is also very good. Uh, we are getting kind of light here, but I will sell the rest of my trade goods to make this trade happen. And we have enough water to make up the difference. And that's going to kind of do it for the stuff that we sold. Or the stuff that we got from the ruin diving. What is this? 20 togs, webs everywhere. Oh, this is the uh, 60 togs, no, still no Jasper. Yeah. Soaking wet, empty chest, not my day, no Jasper. Lost, crab eggs, bizarre scuttling noise, no Jasper. <laughs> Um, I'm actually, uh, I love this so much. It, it just lives with me, you know? No Jasper. Um, alright, data disc. We're gonna learn all of these things. Oh, we need Tinker too. Okay. Serene Visage. We can learn Serene Visage. We can learn Refractive. No, we can't. We it needs Tinker too. Uh, we can learn Wooly. We can learn how to make grenades. Cool. And I mean, I guess, uh, I guess I've figured out a way long, uh, I, I didn't figure out anything. People have been telling me about this for ages, but, um, like this long blade build kind of guarantees we don't have to go to Ezra for a long time. Um, also carapace means that we don't really need crystal goods. I mean, obviously they would help. We have other things that we need to protect. Um, but still like the carapace is doing a lot of the heavy lifting for our av whenever you eat an unfermented yakuit stem you release an electrical discharge per electrical generation at level five pretty sure is that 
Oh, I guess um, we would need to eat the uh, Queet stem to know. I think electrical generation is, in fact, a physical mutation, not a mental one. So we would not benefit from ego. But, like, it's an interesting one because, like, if we learned how to make that, we could just, like, carry a bunch of Yuckweed stem. Because I do believe, yeah, our chain laser turret is jacked. So it would benefit from our electrical generation. Ability to generate electricity or access to grid power. This item can draw power. Kind of tempting, actually. Let's, um, is there anyone we can talk to about learning that? Like, I, I don't know how much Barathermite reputation I have. Let's talk to, what's his name? Does he have reputation? No, he doesn't. Does Otho, Otho I'm pretty sure I forgoed making, breaking bread with Otho. Yeah, it's not great, but it's still not bad it, they're only disliked um teach me how to cook the barathermite favorite dish yeah let's do this and i have some secrets i can give up <clears throat> they would teach me how to craft gravity grenades i don't know about gravity grenades that's a new one on me um what I would like, cooking and gathering, let's learn harvestry. Is going to save me a little bit of money here. Just going to grab, don't mind me, just robbing the Barathermites blind. Um, and what does it take to actually make this recipe? I'm going to look in my journal. Fermented yuckweed stem and one serving of spark tim plasma. Well, that's not... That's not good. I don't have that. And I don't have honey either. And I, it's three ingredients, so I need to have spicer as well. God dang. I should also... I guess I should just grab uh, carbide chef. And I'll grab spicer in the, on the next level. We have, we have an attribute point. We also have a mutation point. I could throw that at something. Can we throw that at Carapace? Yes. We'll throw that at Carapace, and we'll, that actually gives us an extra AV. Um, good stuff. Lots of lots of good stuff. I, I guess we have a little bit of time. We could do some, like, one more dive into the ruins. Like a different set of ruins. Um, but we're pretty much at the end of the episode here. No, we already came here. I guess we, like, we can come here and then just go... You know, the, the full parasang is, um, is ruins, not just the center one. I think we cut their arm off. What did we cut off? Uh, I'd really like to know what we cut off. Right arm. <laughs> they had an elastine skin suit. I'm pretty sure that's like very valuable. Just swipe them. You disarm them. Certainly uh, it nerfs the uh, the threat by quite a bit. Um, we definitely don't want to fight a seed sower. God, I hate seed sowers so much. We're going to throw down a precognition here. And I'm going to release some sleepy gas. Okay. We are bleeding. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I hate that a default stick. I guess defaulting to no would be just as bad. Oh, jeez. Okay. Tell you what, let's just do it this way instead. This is probably better anyway. Yeah, actually, like, way better. Okay. 
Okay, that that was fine. Uh, let's rest. We'll also eat some food. And anything good around the corner? Never mind the big old noise in the background. Oh, chain turret. Nice. I never thought I'd be like, oh, a uh, horrible gun that, like, generally speaking, kills me dead. Love that. Nice little treat, you know? Okay, we've got a jug. Oh, we've got tons of beetles. Uh, is that more seeds being tossed to me? God damn. Why are we fighting so many goat folk in these ruins? I really don't care for it, to be honest. Okay, we'll come into the other screen and rest. Come back over here to take on the day. Oh god, that's a lot of goat folk. Might need to throw down a precognition. Let's do... Yeah, let's do precognition and then I'm gonna... I guess we can sleep gas and then start firing. Oh god. It's really the seed sowers. I, I, I hate seed sowers so much. Can we... Okay, there we go. That's the seed sowers taken care of. Nice thing about the sleep gas is it's kind of guarantees it puts, us, puts a little bit of space between us and the melee users. So all we have to do is worry about the ranged users. Very much cuts a lot of the uh, threat in half. No, we're, we're good. Ooh, is that a rondel? Steel buckler. I think that is actually better. Uh, might be the same, actually. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll equip it. We got a carbide longsword. I'm not going to take that, despite the fact that it's hilarious. We got an airfoil freeze grenade. Nice. More sleep gas. Yeah, the sleep gas is just, like, absurdly good. I'm really enjoying this build. Now that it's, uh, cooked off a little bit. It really is, like, the first 20 levels of Caves of Cud are really the hardest part. Getting, getting off the ground is just so difficult. Um, once you, once you get up, get up, get up, get down, you know, um, it's, it's just, like, you start to actually appreciate what you've got going on. Got a light obfuscating lens. Pretty sure this is worth something. We got a weird artifact. What do we? Oh, we got some, a couple of weird artifacts. Plaster for chem vest. Ooh, I don't think I've seen that before. Provides 100% reduction in the energy cost to apply an injector. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you can apply an injector for free, basically. It is slightly damaged. And a gaslight chisel. I think this is a short blade. It is a short blade. Still, quite a nice find. Uh, Isakari rifle. We're not quite done with the goat folk. Should have like done my sleep gas right away and then we wouldn't have had to d deal with that beetle. It's a pretty busy floor. Is that another mandible? It's another salt hopper mandible. I've never seen so many of those. I don't know why they're so common in this run, but like, I've generally speaking never found, like they're, they're quite rare. They, at least they have been for me. 
Um, so finding like so many, like I could have, I, I could be wearing one in every single uh, slot. So we do actually have some spark tick plasma. Eight servings. I didn't realize you got so much for your, so much bang for your buck. So all we need is some honey and then we'll have enough for our uh, barathromite porridge. And that's going to be really good. It's going to basically mean we can like fire off our gun for free forever. We don't have to worry about like having energy on us. Let's switch to aggressive stance. Good lord, they take some damage. Undoubtedly, there's more goat folk on this floor. Oh, traipsing mortar. Uh, dueling stance. Swipe. Ching. Twing. Let's make our way over there. Ouch. And swipe. Uh, we did disarm them. That was lucky. Just want to get rid of that living livid creeper while I can good hits good hits this will be our last floor for this episode and then I'm gonna even if even if things are like looking good and I want to explore some more we'll head out and uh I think we've got enough stuff that we can take on Bethesda Sousa at this point okay but I will... Oh, God. That was almost the same thing again. It was... Um, freaking... Saw handers are really just, like... Finding... They're getting... Finding me in, like, the worst circumstances. We're going to sprint away. Okay, good. Like I really, I've already done the thing where I lose my arm like several times and had to earn it back. Remember, remember the Sultan Crocs? I remember the Sultan Crocs. Okay, we did not cut their weapon away, so let's try again. We dismembered them. They are leaking. Did we... Oh, I think, I think we're good. Disassemble. We're getting so much good stuff. The fact that I have serrated along with the long, long blades, like the fact that we can, we have a chance of getting extra bits is, is just really nice. Um, there's still some more stuff here to explore. Not much more though. All right, um, that's going to do it for this episode and for this ruin. And we're going to go ahead and grit gate back. I guess uh, if you fight, uh, there's one thing that occurred to me. Yeah, no cell. We didn't, there's no cell in there. That's strange. Um, the one na nasty thing about solar cells is that if we get sapped and we're underground, then there's no way to recharge it. It's the only bad thing about saps, but what do you mean we can't recoil? There's hostels nearby. Where? Okay, let's try now. Okay. You are transported. Zoop. All right. Um, if you are enjoying the series, I know I am. I'm, I'm really, this is like the most fun I've had in, in CUD in a long time. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying everything about this, actually. Uh, but uh, yeah, hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.